Welcome back everyone. I hope you're doing amazing. I'm going to be showing you how I make my Moringa face wash. This face wash feels so good on your skin. It's packed with the benefits of Moringa. It's soothing on your skin and it also leaves your skin feeling hydrated as well. So I'm going to show you my process step by step how I make this so let's jump right in and if this is your first time stopping by my name is Esther and I make DIY hair and skincare videos and I also sell my products on my website if you want to check that out I'll have that linked in the description box so let's jump right in as always I'm going to have everything listed in the description box the ingredients and measurements and links to where i purchase my ingredients from um, so i'm going to weigh out my um, distilled water and to my distilled water i'm going to add in my rose hydrosol so the rose hydrosol is optional but it helps with um, irritated skin um, it helps to retain moisture and provide deep hydration for your skin and i'm also going to use some honey powder um, the honey powder is going to clean your pores moisturize your skin it's also good for oily acne um, skin types as well and i'm also going to be adding in my preservative i'm going to be using Lewisidal sf complete as my preservative and i'm just going to mix everything until the honey powder has dissolved and i'm going to set this aside I'm going to be using some gua gum to thicken up this face wash and I'm going to add in some vegetable glycerin. Um, the vegetable glycerin is going to help hydrate your skin and it's also going to help mix in the gua gum so that way it blends into the uh, formula easily. Um, so after mixing you want to make sure there are no lumps or white powder remaining so take your time to mix this until it's well combined and then i'm going to set this aside and i'm going to be using my moringa infused oil um, my moringa infused oil i'll link the video showing how i make this um, but this is just amazing it gives a really beautiful color um, to this face wash um, so i'm going to add that in and i'm also going to be um, using my essential oil that is completely optional and i'm also going to be using some uh, sunflower lecithin um, the sunflower lecithin is going to help emulsify um, the water and oils together and um, sunflower lecithin is also good for dry um, irritated skin I added in my surfactants. I'm going to be using um, some foaming apple and desyl glucoside. You can always substitute and use something else. Um, and now I'm going to combine my water ingredients to my oil ingredients. And I mixed um, for just a minute or so before I switched over to my mini whisk. Um, you want to take your time to do this um, to combine uh, both ingredients together so that way you don't have separation um, so i used my mini whisk for maybe a minute or two to really blend um, both ingredients together and i added in my um, gua gum mixture and i mixed by hand for another minute or so and i ended up using my mini whisk again um, you want to take your time so that way your gua gum um, is fully hydrated and it does take some time and you can also play around with the amount that you use if you want a thicker uh, face wash you can add more um, but you definitely want to be careful so that way you don't put um, you don't use too much gua gum and then you end up with a thick mess So 
so this is what the consistency is starting to look like and I'm going to add in my surfactants uh, blend and I'm just going to carefully mix that in so that way I don't activate too much lather um, I still ended up having some bubbles on top um, it's going to settle down eventually um, but just mix till everything is well combined and after mixing this is what I have so far and you can always adjust your thickness if you want a thicker face wash just use some more gua gum or um, xanthan gum if that's what you have um, so i'm going to go ahead and check the ph i just take a small amount of my face wash add in some distilled water and i'm going to take the reading and the ph was at 6.96 so that is on the high side so to lower it down i'm going to use some citric acid solution i just put about five to six drops and then i mixed it all in and i waited about a minute before i took the reading and the second reading was at 5.17 and that is perfect for our skin the ph of our skin is between 4.5 to 5.5 So my Moringa face wash is pretty much ready. So Moringa has such high levels of vitamin C, vitamin A and E, and it also helps to boost collagen production, cell turnover. It's also good for anti-aging benefits. I love Moringa. I don't necessarily care for the taste of Moringa. I used to drink this as a tea, but it was horrible. Um, but it has such amazing benefits for your skin. So I hope you try out this recipe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and package this up. Um, this made um, four ounces of product and I'm going to show you the ladder test. Um, it has a very gentle cleansing um, ladder and it feels super hydrating on your skin. So I really hope you try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have questions reach out to me in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Um, as always, please don't forget to subscribe if you've not. Please turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos that I upload. And also, please don't forget to like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!